Welcome to the place we can talk about TV. Let's do some news. First up, Master Chief might be making his way to Showtime. Variety reports that Xbox Entertainment Studios are negotiating a deal with the network to co-develop the Halo series. The deal will result, of course, in the show airing both on Xbox and on Showtime. As I understand it, the show was supposed to be an Xbox exclusive, but Microsoft is probably going forward with this deal to get more people to actually watch it. Right now, all they're saying is that on the Xbox, viewers will get a more interactive experience, which is vague corporate talk for, well, figure something out and we'll get back to you. We don't have any names attached to this project right now, but a while back, the guy who directed District 9 was supposed to make a Halo movie. You can check out his Halo kind of short movie trailer kind of thing that he made with Peter Jackson a while back. In the links below. As I see it, Halo over the years with the tie-in novels and comics and the games and everything has amassed a massive mythology and a fan base of course around it so I'm pretty sure anything less of amazing will be treated as terrible. Anyway, definitely keeping my eye out for this one. Fox has ordered 10 more episodes of John Mulaney's multi-camera comedy titled Mulaney. That brings the show, which by the way isn't even on the air yet, to a total of 16 episodes already ordered. Fox is now in the process of doing away completely with the pilot season and going to straight to series orders. Personally, I love John Mulaney and I love his stand-up and everything he's done so far is hilarious, but I also kinda hate multi-camera sitcoms. So this has the unfortunate potential of being just another one of these shows which are usually terrible. But hopefully John will power through and stand with the few good ones. Fox has also picked up Steven Spielberg's Red Band Society. Well, it's called Steven Spielberg's, but he's not directing or writing or anything. He's executive producing. Red Band Society is a high school drama set in a pediatric wing of a hospital. And Fox has also released the trailer for Gotham, the Jim Gordon pre-Batman detective show. Now this looks amazing. Please don't mess this up. I want this show to be good so bad. I feel this is going to be one of these shows that can be easily destroyed uh, completely by a, a wrong turn or... Uh, I don't know, just it has, it has to be good. It has to be amazing. The supernatural thriller Sleepy Hollow will have at least 15 episodes on its second season, and the producers say they're getting ready for a potential 18. The first season had the traditional 13 episode run. This, of course, is not necessarily a good thing. The producers are saying that this will allow the show to be more epic and maintain a good pace. But I'm kind of worried that it will do the exact opposite because this could obviously mean more stretching and dragging, which happens on some of the best of shows and also some of the really good ones. As far as dramas go, I feel that unless a show has a specific need for a longer season, 13 episodes usually should be enough. Also on Sleepy Hollow, Timothy Busfield, who you probably remember from The West Wing, has been cast as Benjamin Franklin. Apparently, we're gonna learn that Ichabod apprenticed under Franklin before he woke up in the present. Remember back when I said most sitcoms are terrible? Well, every once in a while, a really good one comes along. Happy Endings, in my opinion, was one of those good ones. But it got cancelled pretty quickly. Are they bringing back Happy Endings, you ask? No, I answer. They're making another sitcom with Casey Wilson, Amazing, and the original creator of Happy Endings, who is also Casey Wilson's fiance. But I'm not gonna talk about that because it's not that kind of show. This show, I mean, is not that kind of show. Not that kind of show. Moving on. The show will be about a couple played by Wilson and Ken Mariano, who return from vacation after a proposal that went bad, and they hold off on getting engaged until they figure out some shit. Well, that wasn't the exact wording from the press release, but you, you get the idea. This is basically NBC telling me we could bring back the show you liked, but we're just gonna have this sandwich instead. Also, we're gonna make this other show. NBC has also picked up Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, a comedy by Tina Fey starring Ellie Kemper as a woman who escapes a doomsday cult and begins her life in New York City. Now that sounds delicious.
Netflix has renewed Orange is the New Black for a third season, a full month before the second season comes out. Which is awesome, it's great, it's great news. Actually, this second season also got the green light uh, some time before the first season even aired, so... Veronica Mars, the show that returned from the dead and got kickstarted into a movie, is getting a spin-off. Kinda. This sort of spin-off will air on the CW and will be more of a meta kind of thing. The show will star Ryan Hansen as himself. Not Dick Casablancas, but Ryan Hansen. The premise is that after Veronica Mars gets cancelled, Hansen goes around trying to uh, get his character Dick his own spin-off. And most of the cast of the original show should pop up along the way. The show is going to be titled Play It Again Dick. I don't know. This might be cool for the diehards, but they could also get potentially disappointed about this not being an actual Dick Casablanca's um, spin-off. So I guess we'll see. Probably not. I don't think I'm going to be watching this. And lastly, the biggest thing that happened this week for me, 24 came back. Fucking Jack Bauer. I watched the premiere episodes and it felt like more of the same and it was glorious. I can't believe I'm actually gonna have to watch this one week at a time like an animal after I completely binged the entire series. My questions for you are, which of the upcoming shows are you most excited about? And what do you think was a really good show that got horrible in later seasons. I know there are plenty of examples for that, but which one was the worst? I will see you next week.